Right, Blacky Champ here, showing you how to make zinc self for rocket fuel from a few things that you might be able to find around your house. So, what you do, you get yourself a zinc chloride battery. It's got to be zinc chloride, it says quite clearly on the packet if it's a zinc chloride battery or not. So what you do, you get one of your batteries, I've got a D cell, take off your metal casing from around the outside, take off your end cap, your positive terminal, and take your carbon rod out very carefully, because the carbon rod is very brittle. So you need to get a pair of pliers and hold gently and pull and turn out. Then you need to empty out all of the contents from inside, there'll be bits of cardboard in there, uh, full to the top with chloride. And it has the consistency of wet dirt, so you need to wash it out afterwards. Once you've done that, you'll be left with just your zinc shell, like this. Not as used as this one, this one's been through the wars a bit. Right, then you need to turn this to dust, however you can. I'm stuck with a hand file, unfortunately. But it does the job just fine for the few tests that I'm doing at the moment. Otherwise, I'd be using a grinding wheel to produce a lot more dust. Right, so there's your dust. I've got a little bit here that I can show you. It's the shiny to the left down here. This is just a little bit of aluminium powder I've added just to give it a bit of extra burn. Right, so next you need to get your sulfur. I use Yates' tomato dust. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a 400 per kilogram of sulfur inside, and only a 500 gram tub, so it's perfect for what you want, basically. Uh, what you need to do, you need to fill your fill a jar or something like that, about a quarter of the way to a third of the way full with your tomato dust. Once you've done this, you need to fill the rest of the way with hot water, hot very important what you need and le leaving a centimetre from the top sorry so you've got room to mix it up and put your lid on and shake very vigorously until all of your mixtures looks like it's dissolved sulfur doesn't actually dissolve just so you know so th this is why this works doing this method so once you've, if you, once you've done that you sit and leave it for about 15 minutes once you've shaken it up and over the time you'll see it all separate you'll have your light brown at the bottom you'll have like a very sorry you'll have a very thin layer of black at the bottom then a thicker layer of brown then you'll have a, like a medium layer of green here you'll be left with some light greenish water between here and round the top there'll be a bit of froth and there'll also be all of your sulfur in these like chunks I've actually got a bit of sulfur just here. And I can show you. And you can see that. It's like a very bright yellow colour. So if you've got a bright yellow colour coming out at the top, you know you're on the right track. Uh, just a note quickly. This stuff will actually work as it is. Because uh, because of the sulfur content in it, it's pretty high. It does work just as it is, but it does not burn as vigorously. And I'm not sure of the other contents in here that they don't tell you about, so I'm not sure if it will be safe to do it like that. I'm not sure of the gases and whatnot it lets off. So right, so that's that. Once you've got your two elements, you need to mix them at a 50-50 ratio. So I'll just do that now for you with me right here we are we mix the contents up I'll just show you and you get a bit of a lighter lighter gray once you've mixed it up you can't see that too well in there but there you go I'll just take this outside now show you a quick burn rate test and show you what you've just made. Right, so here's your here's your rocket fuel. Just set up here, about an inch of it for a burn rate test. 
I'll just show you what this, what you just made. It has to get pretty hot to ignite, so give it a second. Gonna be a bitch to me. There you go, zinc sulfur rocket fuel from scratch.